Hey everybody, Denise here from Denzi's Orchids. It is Sunday, August 26, 2018, and I just wanted to give you an update about uh, orchid spider webs that I posted a video a few days ago. Many of you uh, gave some advice and commented. And I appreciate every single one of those. I'm telling you that right now. And by the way, I'm in uh, Montford, Florida, where it is now doing a decent rain. Again, yet again, that is somewhat a heavy but sunshine. As I was saying, yeah, that was Apollo barking. As I was saying, uh, many of you commented, provided suggestions, and I want to touch on that. Because each and every one of you's comments I listen to while I read. And I strongly consider because all comments or suggestions do have a certain a, a, a amount of viability to them. So it was said, well, somebody commented that I probably have a um, extreme spider mite infestation. I agree. I've got to have spider mites or something that causes spiders to build webs so tightly. So, and I totally agree with that totally agree. I've got something here that makes those spiders want to come in here and build webs. Because outside would be better. Right? More bugs outside. So. That being said, another person mentioned that they had spiders doing the same darn thing and they had a um, few enough orchids that they could daily just wipe off the webs, webs squash the spiders yeah they would come back but then when they got to over 100 orchids that was no longer a viable option to wipe and squash on a daily basis. And that person who happens to live in the same state in the U.S. that I do she used neem oil. Well, I've used neem oil in the past for something different and it's been quite a few years and um, boy I didn't like the results as a whole I had a lot of weird things happen <laughs> yeah Apollo's acting up he wants to go play in the rain But hey, I'm willing to retry. It's been a while. Maybe I did it wrong. What I used it for was mealy bugs that were on a house plant. So, what the hey. Anyway, I have been spraying with 3-in-1, uh, Bear 3-in-1. 
Uh, and I've also been adding it to my water. And I'm noticing that things are not as bad as they were before. So, anyway, that's my update on my orchid spider webs. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know someone who may be interested, please share the video with them. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I thank you for watching and talk to you next time. Bye.